Hi, Brian Goulet here of the Goulet Pen Company. And as soon as I heard that Pilot was going to be coming out with their famous Falcon Pen in a soft, extra fine nib, I got really excited and I could not wait to try this thing out for the first time. So I shot a video here that shows you how it works. I also wanted to show you how it compared to the Namiki Soft Fine because that was previously the smallest nib size you could get in this resin Falcon version. And also because the nib is so similar to the Pilot Metal Falcon Extra Fine, I wanted to compare that one as well. So I put it all together in a nice video for you here that you can enjoy. So I have my trusty Rodia number 16 dot pad that I use for just about everything. It's a 80 gram white paper and the dots are five millimeters apart. So that makes it nice for instances like this where I wanna show you the size I'm writing. Um, so I've got the Pilot Falcon and a soft extra fine. This is the one with the rhodium trim, not available in the gold trim with this nib. So I had to get the rhodium one. Of course, I like the rhodium anyway. Um, and this thing right here, this is a sticker. It just peels right off. Some of the pens have them on it, some of them don't. Most of them do, but not always. So I just thought I would show it because it's on there. It's, this is my pen. It's brand new, and I have it on there. So it posts. Very comfortable weight. If you're familiar with the, the Namiki Falcon, it's the exact same thing. 19 gram weight overall, um, almost five and a half inches long. Um, so it's, it's a nice size pen, not huge, but a good size. And I'm not gonna write anything, you know, life altering while I'm doing the demo here because I've found that I'm really not good at writing and talking at the same time. So I'm just gonna do some little X's and then do some, um, you know, demonstrations of its flexibility here. So you can see that this nib is pretty soft. I mean, I'm definitely giving it some intentional pressure. Um, it's not like I'm going to accidentally flex this thing unless, you know, unless you've got a really heavy hand anyway, you may want to kind of watch it, but really, you know, this is not a wet noodle. If you're a, you know, flex nib connoisseur or whatever, if you're familiar at all with the Pilot Metal Falcon, it's very, very similar to that, to that extra fine nib in there. And I actually have one of those two that I can compare. Um, I just inked one up so I could show you here. Um, but this is the metal. Now this pen is heavier. The metal pen is a little bit heavier. Uh, but I find that makes it feel a little easier to flex just because the pen itself has a little more weight to it. But in terms of how fine a line is and everything, you know, I can pick right up where I left off with the resin one. And you can't tell any difference between these two, right? So there you go. So I like the Metal Falcon. This is a $240 pen, you know, street price. So. It's expensive, it does fit the Con 70, that's kind of nice. So it's got a bigger ink capacity. However, I think the main reason to get this pen before was to get that soft extra fine. Now that you've got that available in this pen, you know, dang, that's, uh, that's a big win, big win for this Falcon. Um, the other pen that I wanted to compare it to was I have the Namiki Falcon here and the soft fine. So this is previously the finest Falcon that you could get in this resin version, you know, for the $144 here. So showing you that, um, I wanted to show you the difference. I'm flexing a little bit here. And I just inked all of these two. I thought maybe a lot of you would be familiar with the soft fine. Maybe you've seen some reviews, or maybe you have one of these yourself. Um, but just to show you, so I'll do some, oops, I'll do some X's and O's, or X's and figure eights, I guess. One thing about all these pens is if you get really low at your pen angle and push really hard on this pen, you'll get what I have going on right here. That's actually the feed that's dragging on the paper. So that's something you gotta watch out for. That's a technique thing more than anything else. And I just did it again. Um, but there you go. So that shows you how fine the fine can be. And then if I go with the soft extra fine, now there is a noticeable difference in the smoothness between the soft fine and the soft extra fine. 
and that um, is a compromise. You know, you definitely are having a trade-off of the smoothness. This extra fine nib, I just railroaded a little bit. Um, that extra fine nib is going to feel a little bit scratchier, and that's not anything unusual. There you go. So it is a noticeable difference. Um, the fine writes a little bit wetter. The extra fine can have a tendency to railroad on you if you write too fast with it. That's going to depend on the ink and technique and stuff. That's not something I run into all that much. Um, but hey, you know, that's life. That happens. Um, so there you go. That's, that's how the extra fine writes. I, I like it. I'm really glad they came out with it in this pen. I think this pen is going to be kind of the new staple for anybody who wants a gold nib that flexes, that, that you can use as a daily writer, but that you can also um, you know, have that, that flex to it when you want it there. It's a classic style. It's professional, but yet it's got personality to it. You know, it's got everything that the Namiki Falcon has always been popular for, um, except you know, it's got that rhodium, and then it's got that extra fine nib. So pretty rockin' pen. Really happy with it. I'm, I'm glad to see you came out with this pilot. Thank you. If you have any other questions about the Falcon, either metal or resin, you can always leave me a comment on YouTube or on Ink Nouveau, or you can shoot me a little comment on Facebook or on Twitter. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for spending time with me today, and right on.